Hi guys, thanks everybody for coming and thank you Cocoon and the team of Cocoon for organizing tonight. Wonderful to be here. So, we are a space company. We are Hong Kong's first space company. What does it mean? We are changing the way we use our space in the city and that's important. Why is it important? Because Hong Kong is a great place to live, but it's very crowded. It's crammed everywhere, all the time, particularly at home. Just consider this, the average person in Hong Kong has on or about 140 square feet of personal space, and that includes their bed. To put it in perspective, the average prison cell is 120 square foot of okay? And Nika Shing loves that, okay? So what are the options? Well, you can buy a bigger place, or you can rent one, but it's expensive, whichever way you go. So really, there's only one solution right now, and it's mini storage. And I'm sure many of you know this, and I've used mini storage, and mini storage is a pain because you have to find it, you have to get your stuff there, and then you have to remember what is where. Lots of pain points. It's hard. So Spacebox changes that. How does it do it? We are basically changing the relationship between your things such that it doesn't any longer matter where they are, they just get you when you need them. How does it work? We're using technology to give our client controls over their things. Do you remember when you first got your iPod? and you started using iTunes. It completely changed the way you dealt with your music. What is the CD? It doesn't matter where the CD is, you know? You just press, you tap something and it plays. This is the same idea, somehow. You need something, it doesn't matter where it is. It just gets to you, as and when you need it. Same thing. How does it work in practice? When you order, when you go on our site and subscribe to our service, we deliver you a box like the one Stuart is holding. Very charming. <laughs> Very strong. <laughs> Jump. <laughs> and after you get those boxes and you begin to pack, what you're doing is you're taking photos of the items that are going inside the box. Or maybe you're just taking a picture from the top, just like we did here. You see? Books, clothes, kids' toys. Okay? What you've effectively done is you've created an inventory of the things you have in Spacebox. And at any point in time, when you need something, you just go on your phone, you select what you need, and it gets to you. Same day, or next day, or whatever it is that suits you. You can also choose to have it delivered to a friend, or some other place. Up to you. So we think this is a powerful tool, and it will really allow people to change the way they use the space in the city. And this in Hong Kong is a big deal, and it is also a big deal in other very high density cities. To put our opportunity in perspective, Collier's, a big uh, consulting firm on property, estimates that upwards of 880,000 households in Hong Kong need some form of storage solution. And right now they don't have one. So that's a big market. So let's look at our business model, what are we trying to do. So our clients basically subscribe to our service, they have a plan, they get a number of boxes, usually it's going to be 10 boxes, and they pay $680 a month to have our service. Uh, at this point in time, we're not making the clients pay to receive the empty boxes or for us to collect those boxes. The client only pays when they need something back. They pay $2,500 to receive a box back plus a minimum fee of $100. But that's going to go down as we get more efficient, as we get bigger scale. So, this is not just a business about software, however, there is a big operational element to it, and that's a challenge. And we have to tackle this challenge, and we have a plan to do it. So let's talk about the first one. If we talk about scales, that's a lot of warehousing. For warehousing, we have an open access platform. What does it mean? If you're a landlord, if you're a tenant, if you've got spare warehousing space, you can, so long as you match our security and our quality assurance, you can input your space into our system. Think Airbnb for warehouse. Transport. Um, we're going to use all the amazing transport tech that's emerging. Think Google Vanis of Express, Uber. Makes sense. We have no plan to build a fleet of our own. Market penetration. We know that there are many people that are very keen to use the service. They're a brand ambassador. Think about it. They pull up their phone at the table with their friends. Hey, look, I'm on Facebook. I've got all my stuff on storage. If I need something, I tap a button and it gets to me. It's a powerful tool. So we have a great team, and right now we're hiring. So if you're interested in what we're up to, please come and talk to me or Stuart at the end of the presentation. Where are we at? We have secured seed funded, same seed funding. We've launched the service this month, and the prototype mobile app that I showed you before is being rolled out the middle of next month. Native will come a little later, probably February 2015. As I said before, and I'll repeat it, we're looking for talent, so please come and meet me. And we're going to be fundraising in the next quarter. 